Hey guys, today I'm going to present you two uh, new Nocticon lights that I got uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, in the big package we have the D1M.12 uh, and here we have the DW4 which is an angle uh, headlight. So first we unbox the big one. So you have the standard packaging without any manual or so, uh, two spare O-rings, a nice holster, that's always nice to have, sturdy. And then the light, I got it in uh, light grey, uh, which is a nice color but uh, very sensitive, I already used it a few times in mine so I tried to clean it completely but uh, it's not getting completely clean anymore. I really like this uh, concept you have uh, one center LED for throw and then you have 12 outer LEDs uh, for float so uh, I already really liked the K9.3 with the 9 and 3 LEDs dual channel so uh, now the the M1.12 is uh, really cool because I often use it in my underground explorers because it's uh, practical to have uh, a float and a uh, thrower in one light so you need to carry around less weight. You can unscrew it. It runs by 21700 batteries. need to pay attention. Do not use any protected cells. Also unscrew the tail cap. Really like the aggressive knurling on the bezel here. Or on the on the battery tube. I'm not going into any details of the Unreal uh, 2 user interface. There's plenty of reviews that only explain the user interface, so uh, I'm going to skip that. So, uh, we have stepless dimming, double click for turbo. So that's the float light now. I'll go to the moon mode. You can see. And to switch now to the other channel, it's three clicks and hold. One, two, three. And then you switch over and you have again stepless dimming. I choose the Osram W1 LED for the center. It's the longest throwing LED for this light with uh, 900 lumen and uh, 150,000 candela. And uh, for the outer lights, I choose the Nietzsche 219B with 4500 Kelvin, which is a really nice light uh, for photography. I really like it a lot. So uh, I'm really a big fan of this light. We are going to have a look of it outside later on. And I think with the uh, Nietzsche LEDs, we will have around 3000 lumen uh, or a bit more. Uh, they indicated uh, with the SBT 90.2 LED with 4500, so that's the uh, LED that will give you the most output. But uh, I prefer the light color to the output because I use this for my photography. So, the other package is the Angle Light DW4. Here I also choose the Nietzsche with, with uh, 4500 Kelvin. This I choose in grey. And you can uh, choose different battery tubes. This one is for the 18650, but you can also use uh, 18350 uh, and 18500 uh, tubes if you want a smaller light. And I opted for the magnet in the tail cap, so that's why there's already stuff sticking to it. You have the lanyard hole, where you can attach the lanyard, and you also have a spare O-ring. 
This one also only runs with uh, unprotected batteries. So here we have the spring. Battery is sticking due to the magnet. And then you can also unscrew the tail cap. As always, the machining on these lights is outstanding. I'm really big fan of Emisa lights. I have them all uh, and uh, it's just awesome. And then you can uh, separately buy a head strap. It's a standard head strap. I personally don't like those too much because the silicon ban uh, can easily break off. So you need to take uh, off the battery cap and then you will just uh, slide it in here. I prefer the system of Army Tech that have these uh, plastic clips. Uh, maybe in a new version they will upgrade their head strap because uh, in my eyes this is uh, way easier and much sturdier so uh, I'm using it most of the time in the Army Tech head strap as I have a few of those uh, lying around. Also here I uh, will measure the output in my Ulbricht ball, but I think that we are also going to turn around 3000 lumen um, with the nice Nietzsche LED. So uh, again, Unreal 2 user interface, stepless dimming, memory mode, all what you want, so really nice. And I will compare this to uh, the Army Tech Wizard C2 Pro Max in cool white, which is running on 21700, so it's a bit bigger. I hope that Hank also will uh, bring out a headlight with a bigger uh, battery for more runtime, because uh, the 18650 is uh, fast emptied by such high performance uh, lights. And uh, we will compare it to the Ace Beam H30, which is one of my all-time favorite headlights. So I will charge up the batteries, test them in the Ulbricht ball, and then we are heading outside to compare everything and to give you an impression of uh, what the lights perform. Well, guys, we are outside on a quite windy evening. I have the DM 1.12 here in my hands. And I will show you the W1 Osram in turbo mode. Where you can see we have a really, really nice beam and a long throwing distance. So very useful if you need to play around in the dark or if you are looking for uh, animals in the dark or whatsoever. I measured 800 lumen in the spot mode. So they indicated with 900 lumen I will now switch over to the flood mode with the nice Nietzsche LED turbo where I measured 3500 lumen so that's really a nice amount of light really happy with it love the light color so very beautiful overall Hank uh, Engineered a really nice light here again, so still big fan of it. I will now show you the DW4 So here we have the DW4 with the turbo mode activated here. I only measured 1500 lumen which is still plenty enough, but the light gets hot quite quick so it will dim down to about 1000 lumen in three to four minutes but again really love the color of the Nietzsche. I will now show you the difference to the Armitech Wizard C2 Pro Max which is indicated with 4000 lumen so it's really producing a wider beam and a bit more of output but however I don't like the light color that much and here we have the Ace Beam which is producing 3500 lumen and a little bit more slow. I will show you once again the DW4. 
near the ace beam. So I hope you liked this little uh, information video about the two new Emisar lights and uh, make sure to get yours. I saw that the uh, DEM 1.12 is on sale at the moment so uh, it's 40 euros cheaper than normal or 40 dollars cheaper so that's a quite good deal. I would really like if you would leave me a thumbs up and a follow to my channel and uh, if there are any questions don't hesitate to contact me. See you guys, bye bye!